Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use uh, Zoom in order to do your online lessons. So uh, your teachers will post for you a link in Google Classroom just like they were doing with Google Hangouts and Google Meet. Um, so you just start by clicking on that link. When that happens you'll be get taken to a new page called Launch Meeting and it will ask you if you want to open it. You just click openzoom.us. This is the first time uh, this happens. You may need to click here to download and, and run Zoom, um, which will take you to an installer for either uh, Windows or Mac. So go ahead and click Open Zoom uh, and then in a few seconds uh, you'll probably see a screen that looks like this. Once enough people have started the lesson, uh, they will let you in like this and you'll see a new screen. So you can click join with computer audio. Now depending on your settings you may hear some uh, feedback or annoying noises. If that happens make sure you click this button down here to mute yourself. It's really important to try and go into these meetings already muted. You'll also be able to see your teacher's screens. Now I've switched off my uh, screen right now, but I'll just turn it on so you can see what it would look like. There we are. So in this case I'll be able to see my teacher. Now, while they're going through the meeting, the teacher may uh, do a couple of may ask you to use a couple of things. One of them is this participants button. Uh, so your teacher could ask you a question during the lesson, like how do you feel or do you understand this? And you can click yes, no, or you can click here and go for a thumb up or thumb down for everything. Um, you can also raise your hand if you want to ask something. That might be particularly useful if you're in a big class, and that will give a little pop-up on your teacher's screen so they can see you want to say something. Your teacher may share their screen with you so that they can show you presentations. If they do that, it will look something like this. You can now follow along with what your teacher is saying, um, and they might ask you to draw on the screen. So if they ask you to draw on the screen, then you can click here, these view options, and then click annotate. And then you'll be able to, for instance, if I think the answer to this is 3.7, I can write in 3.7 volts here. Obviously, do wait for your teacher's permission before you start drawing on the screen. If more than one person is viewing at one time, then you'll see a list of their names along here, and you can click that. That might be useful if you're working with several or other students. Sometimes your teacher may ask you to uh, share your screen as well. If they do that, then you just click down here on the Share Screen button. Uh, you may get an alert like this, um, but you can just click Continue and then you can share your screen. So I can do this. And now your teacher will be able to see your screen as well. Uh, if you finished uh, showing your screen, you can just click here. So if you finish showing your teacher what your problem is or your, or your peers, you can just click uh, pause or stop share to stop doing that. During your lesson, your teacher might ask you to join a breakout room. They could give it different names. For instance, there might be one for independent work, um, or they could put you in small groups to work together. So you can click Join Breakout Room, and that will open you up into a new room. Sometimes your teacher might do this when uh, you're going to be working with a small number of other students. Your teacher can enter and leave this room uh, as they please. Um, but if you have a question that you need to ask your teacher, you can do it in two ways. You can press the chat button here and you can send a message directly uh, to everyone in the group to just ask your teacher for something. Or you can click here to leave the breakout room, then click return to main session. And that will take you back here um, where you can go back and ask your teacher any questions. Uh, sometimes your teacher may give you the option of uh, switching on or off your camera. You can do that with those two buttons down here. If you need to change in the settings, if you have multiple, for example, if you have multiple cameras, um, you can do that by clicking the up arrow here. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, if you do have any questions, please do let us know.